Alright, so, this here be the dealing biz. All your body functions be manual, so you kinda have to do stuff on purpose. Um, you be turning kinda blue. Might wanna consider breathing. Welcome everybody to an early look at Manuel Samuel. I'm your host for the evening, the Birdman, known as Falcon, and this right here is a game that I am super glad landed out of my email and I checked it out because I did check it out and I have been having so much fun playing this, laughing at the dialogue and the comedy in the game, and also the gameplay itself is actually really quite goofy and fun. Um, this is an early look, this comes out fully available on October 14th. We have access right now to the very first two acts of the game, so if you do enjoy it, let me know in the comments and by leaving a like and I'll definitely check out the entire product when it's completely available to me for me to show off to you. But at the moment we really have access to the very first two acts. I would explain to you what the story is about, but the game does a really good job of explaining that for us. So without further ado, story mode it is, and we're going to be playing a new game. Our story begins in the middle of the 40s, when a hopeful young soldier called Sam... Oh, uh, we're not doing that? Our story begins in the middle of last Tuesday, where a hopeless young freeloader called Sam is sipping a fancy cup of coffee with a name nobody can pronounce. Sam was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. But not the actual spoon that he has in his mouth now. That is a different spoon. But a figurative spoon that represents all the wealth and attention that he has been receiving from his parents. And their butlers. And their butler's parents. You're a douche, aren't you, Sam? Blink twice if yes. <laughs> he can't hear me. This is Sam's girlfriend, also not being heard by Sam. She's mad at Sam for his lack of responsibility, produced by his large wealth. She also mentions the fact that Sam has forgotten her birthday for the third year in a row. Sam's girlfriend is upset. As with most rich and famous brats, Sam does not pick up on that. Instead, he decides to lay this gem. Things just work out for me, baby. I can't just run around and do stuff. I'd end up with a limp spine then, or something. Sam's girlfriend does something she should have done a long time ago. Sam is laying unconscious on the floor. He gathers his strength and makes an effort to get up. Then he makes another effort to stand up straight. Sam is hit in the head so hard, he has to remind himself how to walk. He takes a right step. Then he takes a left step. Good job, Sam! You're very good at existing. Yay! We can exist properly. As I mentioned, you're gonna be in control of every single limb on Sam's body, and that's where the comedy's gonna come in, and also the challenge as well. Um, we'll get more into that pretty soon, but for now, let's actually let's go forward. One step at a time here. Huh? How dare you startle my child! An overprotective mother hurls a cup of coffee in Sam's face. He has to blink rapidly to regain his vision. Say something, Harold! Oh, gee. How is our son going to become a respected politician if he can't fend for himself? I thought he was going to become an actor. Oh, what's the difference? The game pokes so much fun of all the, you know, things in society going on right now, a bunch of tropes. It's a very self-aware game. I really enjoy it because of that. Let's continue going forward here for now. Sam remembers the one thing he's good at, paying for stuff. So he turns around to pay for his beverage. Aha, I get it, because he's a rich snob. All right. You can, buy, you can play this, by the way, with a keyboard. Um, I tried uh, a, a gamepad for the video right now, and I'm seeing to be having such an easier time with the gamepad, so it's probably recommended to go with the gamepad, but you can do it with a keyboard as well. All right, press LB to use your back arm. <laughs> Sam pays the guy 500 euros, 
barely covering the coffee. Thanks for the tip, douchebag. <laughs> Sam decides to hurl another 500 at the guy. Not such a douchebag after all. Good. I am pretty sure you can leave right now, but I found this out just by, you know, sheer testing alone. Sam is hurling stacks of 500s left and right. He has no perception of money. Must be fucking nice. Sam is about to spend his whole weekly allowance on tipping a barista named Tony. He really was hit hard in the head. Holy feces. I'll just start my own coffee shop. Once again, Sam makes someone quit their job by tipping them too much. So long, suckers! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if that tipping line means, like, strippers or something. I don't even know, but either way. Let's go and get on out of here. The guy's just over there furiously typing into his little typewriter there. Got a story happening. Is it just me or does it look a little bit like Woody Allen? Except with, like, red hair. No, no. Maybe it's just me. Sam spends a decade making his way out the door, which is pretty good for a guy with a major concussion. That's true. As Sam waggles outside, he sees his girlfriend on the other side of the road. Sam pulls himself together and rushes towards his soon-to-be ex-girlfriend. This is when a septic tank truck approaches Sam with an average speed of 90 kilometers per hour. The impact renders him eight types of dead. guy hit him so hard that he's fucking puking from it. That's ridiculous. Eh, the concussion wasn't bad enough, but I'm, you know, I'm dead now as well. Or Sam is dead anyway. Just notice that the uh, license sets feces as well. And here we have like the um, credits and stuff roll in, but I'm gonna skip those and get underway. Manuel Samuel. Who cares who worked on the game? Just skip to the action. Who knew a bottle to the face would result in such a terrible fate for Sam? But a bottle won't be the only thing that will meet Sam's face today. There's also the ground in hell. Sam does not like being dead a single bit. He also hates the eerie feeling of not having any cash on him. Then, he finds seven glowing notes in his pocket. That makes him feel reasonably better. He checks out that horrible sound he's hearing. Not the horrible sound of the screaming souls around him. The other horribly irritating sound. There is a clicking and clacking going on. Have a nice day in hell. The source of the sound is none other than obliteration and oblivion, extermination and extinction, the end, decease and demise, the grim reaper, death. He's trying to do a kickflip on a skateboard and is dressed like a douchebag for some reason. In his coarse, horrifying voice, he lays this on Sam. Yo, yo, yo! You must be Sam from the info I was provided. Then he takes a second look at Sam and his eye sockets widen. Holy feces, dude! Your soul be like a diamond! Let me cut you a deal that we can seal. For reals? Aight, man, it decided. The notes in Sam's pocket are something called a shred of life. Every soul has at least one, and it is the biggest unit in Hell's currency, followed by quality of life, school of life, sound of life, meaning of life, and thug life. If you give me your shreds, I'll resurrect your face and get you out of Hell on one condition. You'll have to survive 24 hours with a handicap I choose under my supervision, bro. 
Sam decides to check out the rest of hell before doing any deals with supernatural beings. <laughs> That's essentially what I envisioned the Green Reaper to be like. Like, you know, just down to the dot. I love it. Let's go and check out the rest of hell before we agree to this, though. Why, hello there, dear sir. Let's see if we can find a job for you. You get to be... Ooh, a plumber. That'll be all your shreds, dear sir. All right, that sounds fair. Yes. Sam notices that the souls that get into hell are forced to get a job and become functioning souls of society. For most people, this is okay. But for Sam, it's horrifying. He hurls his shreds at death like he's never hurled piles of money before. Hello there, dear He keeps the last shred for the next time he meets the gatekeeper of hell. Whenever that's going to be. Hehe. <laughs> I, bro. I only get to do these deals annually. But if you really want to live in biz, you have to do it manually. Also, I will stop speaking in rhymes now. Sam has just traveled through time, space, and logic, and finds himself fully alive, and more importantly, rich again. His joy is only dimmed by the fact that he can't move at all. This is when he shows up. Death. Yo, yo, yo! Oh, God, you look horrible. I mean, <laughs> you look great, bro. Uh, you be okay? Can you hear me? Um, blink twice if yes. Oh, cool. You be alive. Everything be fine. Aight, so this here be the dealing biz. All your body functions be manual, so you kind of have to do stuff on purpose. Um, you be turning kind of blue. Might want to consider breathing. All right, bitchin. You be blinking and breathing, that be bitchin. So, all right, go survive for a day, and I'll let you live normally for the rest of your life. If you somehow die within the next 24 hours, you'll go to hell and I'll keep your shreds forever. I'll be over there doing kick flips if in you need me. Once again, Sam has to make an effort to get up. This time, he has to focus on his spine. And, once again, he has to remind himself how to walk. Alright, so at this point onwards, we have to control everything about him. Breathing, exhaling, walking, moving the arms, blinking. If you don't blink, it's gonna start like getting really like white in the screen, and yeah, it's gonna be really bad. So, let's breathe here first, let's get some blinking action happening. Oh, start by the way, oh, no. dude! You be getting late for work. Sam does something that resembles walking toward the bathroom. Gonna do a kickflip now. <laughs> My spine was giving out on me. Okay, remember to breathe. Remember to move your legs one at a time. That's over there just busting kickflips and shit. But we got business to do, man. We gotta come in here and take a shower because we're all jacked up here. Get some blinking action happening too. That's getting really red. Sam has some trouble with his posture oh. and has to focus on his spine. Yeah, on occasion you gotta like stretch yourself up, it does seem. Some blinking, get some breathing before I die here. Alright, what's next? Sam holds on to that toothbrush like his life depends on it. Alright, time to brush the old teeth, I guess. Now you can't actually die from not breathing while you're doing this. You gotta be really fast about it. With clean teeth, Sam is ready to smile. He won't for at least 24 hours, though. Sam is dumb enough to breathe in with his mouth full of water. He has to cough. As I just mentioned. <laughs> so he had to breathe, but I had water in my mouth still, so I just almost drowned myself, essentially. Okay. 
So we got that under control. Blink a little bit, man. Those eyes are getting really red. Time to take a leak, huh? Sam tries to take a leak. Okay, I think we gotta balance herself here. Hey I haven't done dude, this with a have you seen my- Sam has some trouble with his posture <laughs> and has to focus on his spine. It's not the time, Dad. Trying to pee in the thing. Okay, just keep, keep it even, man. We're good here. Jeez, dude, how much did you drink last night? Sam pees perfectly. Amazing. To some degree. Sam has oh. some trouble with his posture and has to focus on his spine. Okay, a little bit. There we go. Uh. No! One leg at a time. Shower time. Alright, hold on. Let's blink first. Get some breathing action in here before I forget. Alright. Here. Sam tries to take a shower. He looks like a mantis. That's trying to explain to someone how a bicycle works. Okay. Go for the head. Clean that head as well. Yo, you gotta breathe, dog. You gotta breathe. Go. This way? Am I, am I... Did you get the... the underneath the sack and everything? You gotta clean everything up, man. Right, here's the body. That's good. Blink a little bit as well. Sam is clean as a whistle. Good job, Sam. Blinkin. And breathing. All right. Stretch the spine out. No! This is not how you walk! Sam, this is not how we walk, man. You're gonna freak people out. Get get your ass up. <laughs> Whenever you hit right twice, you go into the splits, and you can essentially walk that way as well, I guess. It, it works. You should probably be breathing, though. No, no, get up, right? Just get up, dude. There you go. Clean and empty, Sam decides to find some clues. How you doing back there, Dad? Friggin' skateboard. <laughs> Aye, let's see here. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh, God, dear. I love You're that fine, that is the, that's the vision it of debt in this game. Aye, let's see here. Let's get some breathing. Oh, God, damn it. Blink. Left, right, left, right. Here we go. Sam can open doors now. Clever boy. Yeah. Damn right it can. So we have to get to the wardrobe now and get it fixed up. So, I'm gonna wrap it up here. We'll come back for another video, do the rest of this. As I mentioned, we have two acts available right now. You might want to breathe here, Falcon. Stop breaking your back in half. Can I pause? We can pause. Alrighty. There are two acts right now in the game. I will try to cover all those, and if you guys enjoy it, let me know in the comments. I'm be leaving a like, and we will cover the rest of this when it comes available um, on the 14, or maybe beforehand if we get some access with the developers. We'll see how that plays out. But all the information for the game will be down below. I will catch you next time.